All right, I'm going to do a video of my homemade coolant mist system I made for my Grizzly lathe. Also going to use it for uh, my mill when I get it here in a couple months. Um, pretty simple design. You need an air compressor, of course. Uh, the air comes out here. I got it regulated. I don't know what I'm 80 PSI, but I regulate it down again. So it's 80 PSI into here. Comes back behind the bench, out the front, to one of these pedals that I actually already had. Air comes in at the bottom. I plugged up where the air would be going out if you were to just have it on. And then this is where the air goes when you push the pedal down. So basically I have it so it just lets the air through when I push the pedal. This is basically for a double acting pneumatic cylinder. I just plugged up the one that uh, the line that goes out when you hook the air up to it. So, so when you push this, the air comes through here. It's still at 80 PSI or whatever my output is set at from my compressor. Got it, comes up under the bench. Back into a regulator. I've got just sitting here now. I need to get that uh, hung on the wall. Regulate it down to, oh, I'd say probably 10 to 15 PSI. Um, let's see, what have I got it at now? I just messed with it. Okay. So there, it's set at about 15 PSI. So it gets regulated down to 15 PSI. Comes out into the this little polyethylene tubing or whatever. You can get it pretty cheap. It's 4 millimeter OD, 2.5 millimeter ID. Comes up, comes up, wise. One line comes over into my mixing block, which I'll explain the specifications on this. The other line goes into the coolant reservoir here pushes air in here, basically pressurizes it, and then you can see I got the straw coming up out this fitting. And these little fittings are Parker Legris, L-E-G-R-I-S um, fittings. They come in basically eighth inch NPT and quarter inch NPT. And that one comes out up into the uh, regular needle valve regulator here in the top of the mixing block. So basically you got the liquid coming up here, the coolant, then the air coming up over into here. And this mixing block is real simple. Uh, you can find the plans online. Mine I deviated a little bit. It's basically a 564 hole all the way through and then a 1 16th hole for the liquid. And they meet and then of course I just did 1 8 uh, NPT threads to screw these uh, Parker Legris fittings into. So from there, it's basically mixed, I guess you could call it. And it comes down, same line, into this. And I've basically got the line, this four millimeter line, running through this quarter inch lock line. Okay, and you can see the end here. I basically, the the lock line is just supporting the line and then uh, I machined I had some Lincoln contact tips and I machined those down to fit inside the four millimeter tubing and I also opened up the tip to 1 16th of an inch you can actually do it less or more depending on uh, how much you want the mist to, to be atomized um, but I've been pretty happy with it's just a 16 inch, 16 inch, inch hole. So, and that's really all there is to it. And then I I lucked out my I had an old mag uh, indicator holder uh, mag base here where actually the eighth inch uh, MPT th uh, male threaded uh, adapter here for the lock line actually fit in there, and I was able to just clamp right onto it. So. So basically this line just 
just kind of floats here so when the carriage is moving back and forth they can move uh, I wouldn't get too much slack in there because you don't want to get it caught in, get it caught in your chuck but basically um, the coolant that I'm running is just regular old cool mist um, you mix it four fluid ounces with one gallon uh, I just marked it into four equal parts and uh, mixed up a gallon